Hello students, good evening everyone. Welcome to our English class. It's a great pleasure to have you here again. Uh, beautiful, you know, day, start of the week. Always thinking in a positive way. So welcome everyone. As always, I just want to encourage you to, you know, to be all the time in class. As you always do, this is actually the last class. And also we know how important is this all the process that we have followed during this time has been like very interesting. And that's one of the ways that, that we, every time we learn something new. And at the same time, I just want to highlight the level of responsibility that most of you have for being here in the class on time, always to be on time is really good. Um, I know that there are some students for some circumstances because their jobs, but what they do, they always uh, join the class uh, later, but on the process. So, that's why it's very necessary. You know, I know that it is a great part, right, to show the commitment. And, and everything we do all the time, we have to do that when show commitment and responsibility. So welcome, everyone. And also, for me, it's a great time, um, you know, starting class this week. Always, like, thinking about vacation time and all stuff, right? So we're going to ask Rafael. Hi, Rafael. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. I'm good. Uh, how was your day? Was good? Uh, very easy, but I saw many problems this this day. Well, well, it was good. Okay, you know, solving problems, that's good. That is part yes. of the experience, right? That's good. So that's great for you. Yeah, that feels great. Yeah, definitely it is. And also um, for different situations that happens, you learn uh, and new experiences, right? And yes, that's, of course. That's really important. And we know that it's it, it matters. So that's why it's really important to all the time try to do our best in what we do and, um, and everything. So let's see, Osman, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. It was a great day. Yes, yes. Um, depend. This Monday was, I feel very short this day because in the morning or day, I was a meeting. I was in a meeting. Uh, 
a short short day this oh, uh, that's... for for all uh, all good oh cool that that's very interesting yes that's okay yes. um thank you teacher yeah so it's good to know that and also because you know people are feel different on on December I don't know do you see the difference that we are in December do you see the difference or not it's like a normal month yes. In my in my company, teacher, uh, everybody are happy uh, about the Christmas. <laughs> uh, all employees uh, are, uh, I don't know how do you say, uh, poner adornos. <laughs> they decorate. Uh, oh, they decorate. decorate. Oh, okay. They do, decorate their your uh, area, area, the, the area. Okay, the area. Well, the yes. Uh, uh, for station. Yes. Yes, many people very happy. Many people uh, doing plan for the for the last uh, week of December because the we we finish uh, this uh, this week. We we had to work this week and tomorrow week, tomorrow two weeks more. Yes. Oh, two. only three, only three weeks more on December and finish the okay. year. Yes, for That's this good. reason, uh, or, or uh, many people are are making are, are doing planning <laughs> to celebrate. Yeah, that's important to make some plans for for Christmas, especially when people think about us and Christmas bonuses and all the stuff. Yeah, and perhaps that could be good, depending because there are some depending where you work, depending what kind of company is that. Because we know that there are some places in which, for example, Christmas is uh, very hard because they. Uh, have to sell or depending what they do if they work in travels that's very challenging because people travel a lot in, in december so that's why it, it's a bit of more complicated but when people um, sell on stores or so they work in companies related to selling production perhaps christmas is like very busy for them yes yes but for some others it could be a little bit different so that depends the balance and also the personal experience for every single person in the process so guys welcome to everyone we are 12 right now so that is a good time and also i know this that is a good time we finished this uh class with this level expecting that you continue guys doing the best and working a lot in english because it's really important because we have a great path to improving maximize your skills as you know, every time we had to practice, no matter what level we are, so we always have to show this commitment and have fun a lot. Um, being honest with you, I have some free time today in the afternoon and was like thinking about what to do and I was start watching a movie. And also I was looking for this this movie and uh, this the movie was only in English. So imagine, that was a piece of cake to me in that case, but that is advantage that you can also watch movies or the documentaries in English and you don't have the problem related to the barrier of the language because you can't communicate actively without any problems. That's why it would take a great advantage in that in that case. So guys, we're going to continue today working. And also in, in the last, well, the last weekend, we the last Friday, we had a good time to talk about different topics uh, as part of the review. We're going to highlight some of them. Also, uh, we have a special poll for this, the satisfaction poll that we always do at the end of every level. That was saying in Spanish, la encuesta de satisfacción that you will develop today at 8th, 20th. So in, uh, at 8th, 20, we're going to join in a, a kind of survey. And in that kind of survey, in that survey, you're going to evaluate some important points related to this level and then about this program. That is very, very interesting, as I told you. It's uh, very necessary to work on that. We're gonna have a short review in a briefly way. We talk about uh, different topics about generations, uh, millennials, also generation C, generation alpha, and also the baby boomers. We learned about that. We also talk about the coordinated conjunctions in the last class, we, we talk about the fanboys for and nor, both, or yet, and so. And we said that every uh, coordinated conjunction or conjunction uh, has a specific function in the function of coordinating, especially when we're talking about independent clauses, like for the, uh, reasons and addition, 
nor a not, but contrast, or it's related to auctions, yet it's outcome, so it's related to results. And also we uh, talk about definitions about the run-on sentences that we're saying in the last class, the run-on sentences are the type of grammar mistakes that happens when two or more clauses are joined incorrectly, especially because they are not separated by the period, they are not separated by a comma. There is no the, for example, a capital letter at the beginning of the next sentence. So we had to check important points. And this is a mistake because people speak in that way. But the problem is that they don't use in an informal way, the formal way to be used to correct punctuations in the process. And then we talk about um, the differences, all kind of run on sentences. When, for example, when there is no punctuation, when there is not a comma a splice, and for example, when you don't see the policy in the tone, and also you can see the examples. How can you fix a run on sentences we said in the last class? That there were three important points. First one, by adding a semicolon or a conjunction with a comma between the clauses. Alternatively, you can simply split the sentence into two or more separate sentences. It was simple. You don't know, you don't understand because the sentences are very long. You can separate them by periods and you can make separate sentences and that's this that's the problem when you see this kind of run-on sentences. And that happens in an informal conversation because sometimes happen that uh, people, they don't, they don't use commas or they don't use periods. And you see, and they are talking in a natural way, but sometimes you don't understand ideas because they, they don't separate that in a way, in the best way. So that's why it's important. And also we're talking about um, an important topic related to wow. millennials. Also, how to deal uh, with people from different generations, how to interact with them, how to work with each other, and also take advantage about their skills. Because every person in their way, they, have, they are very skillful. They have some advantages. Perhaps the new generations, they don't have enough experience but they are expert at technology and that is a great advantage like millennials millennials are considered the, the, the generations that are adapted to technology but this generation see they are even more advanced than generation uh millennials because they have seen the the advance about technology in better ways different applications different phones the perhaps the phones that uh millennials so at the beginning so you can see the generation see they are even smartphones more technology, uh, more advanced uh, resources, more apps that perhaps they can use to make things easier. Like for example, there is an application, uh, kind of application that maybe support different things at home. You give instructions and also this kind of uh, technology listens to your request and that's what it's required. Like for example, can you turn on the television? Uh, can you play the, ra the radio? Can you turn on the fun? So you give instructions in this kind of technology, uh, listens to your, to well, the instructions and also follows your instructions in the best way using the technology. That is uh, something very interesting. And we know that there are different things related to the advantages and disadvantages of all that. Well, we're gonna have a listening exercise. And uh, also because as I said, it's very important to, to be uh, focus, focused in English especially listen English and the accent. We have a conversation between uh, some people and we have some statements that you need to select the best choice in that case. Okay, um, I need to ask to uh, Sifredo. Hi. Uh, Sifredo, could you do me a favor to read uh, the sentences in cursive? Just the sentences, not the, the, the auctions. Okay. Uh, the first one, the guy, the guy has been married for months. <laughs> what is one reason why he wants to break up and divorce her? One thing brother that bothers her is that he, the woman, Tonya, feels his things that he's really 
and also she suggested that field thank you so much so there are like some possible and uh, answers that you can also perceive one second oh this one i mean to change okay is this one so what i want you to do guys is to listen carefully uh the following audio the following conversations and also taking advantage of our listening skills you will try to focus about the answers the most important is that we can get familiar with the accent the conversation and to understand what the conversation is about focus about the possible choices so that's why we're going to be working with that part and just give me a moment and i will share with you guys and the audio Okay, guys, I'm sending you right now the the audio. So be ready. Uh, please let me know if you can uh, receive the the audio in the group. Please let me the favor. Can you see it? Yes, teacher, I got it. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'll give you this time to listen and select the best choice. You can do it. Uh, guys, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. There is something I want to tell you that in a couple of minutes, we're going to have the the survey, the satisfaction survey. And uh, that's why we're going to uh, waste some time because we're going to take this short time to work on that. And uh, let me see. I will share with you right now, guys, the, also the, you have you received um, a kind of email with information about this survey, about this kind of survey. But I'm just going to share with you guys. And also, can you watch my screen, please? Can you see it? Uh, hello, guys. Can you listen to me? Yes. yes. Okay. Wait a moment, please. Okay, what about now? Can you can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. So we're gonna take a short time because it's going to be a twenty, and I would I'm just gonna give you uh some instructions related to la encuesta de satisfacción, and also you will receive uh well the link by emails. And also, you can see that you had to add the, well, your complete name, right? After your, your complete name, so you also have to, um, a number called orden de inicio uh, given in the email. So you also are going to copy 
and make sure that you type properly the numbers. You write your complete name, your email, your cell phone number too. Also, you can see checks and, you know, sex in that case. Uh, the department, where you, if you are from San Salvador, La Libertad, uh, depending where you are, so you're going to select the best choice in this case. Also, where you come from, for example, if you come from Salvador, Ilopango, and to, especially the municipio. Um, the company, uh, the name of the company. It's recommendable that, that you write the name, exactly the name that you received in your email. Don't say, ah, the name is this one. Exactly the name given. So you have to check your email with the information given because you're going to copy and paste. And in that case, you have to select the institutions where you started. In that case, you can also select Inglés Corporativo, Regal International, SADVC, SADCB. So you can also check this one, Inglés Corporativo, you selected. The name of the course also, it, everything is in your email, so you have to check that. So the, the level we have, that is advanced English one. And also you have to evaluate different aspects related to the course, about what we have done, about the technology and everything that we have had in the class. And the date that we started our classes, and specifically the, the, the time, the date that we finished. We're talking about this day. You select that one, the level of satisfaction you have for the program. Also, if you have interest in some other programs by Insta4, for example, if you feel like would like to, to focus about, about Excel, if you would like to talk about some other technologies, so you can also select uh, one of them. And any comments you have, and then you submit. After you submit this encuesta, you have to take a picture when it says uh, submit it. Um, I would say just in Spanish because I need to make sure that we do all, all of this. Because you have you have done that one before in the, in the previous programs. Um, cuando usted termine de, de completarlo, le va a aparecer ahí, gracias por haberlo completado. Usted le toma una captura y lo va a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Porque cuando ellos verifiquen que usted sí lo hizo, ahí va a estar su nombre y va a estar la captura de que si realmente hizo la encuesta. Ok, eso va a ser al final. ¿Está claro? ¿Es that ok? Sí, sí, Ok, better. Ok. Give me a second, please. Please make sure that all of you do this because it's important. Bien, entonces podemos hacer la encuesta. Ya, pues algunos ya se adelantaron. Kevin ya se adelantó. Wow, Kevin, that's good. Eh, no se les olvide seguir los pasos que les he dado y sobre todo la información que ya ustedes tienen. ¿Verdad? Eh, ya que Cabal, justamente lo que, lo que está en, en el correo que les mandaron, ahí usted pues copia y pega igual el número de, en este caso, el número de orden con los guiones y plecas. Entonces, lo más recomendable es que vaya copiando y pegando para que después no tenga ninguna dificultad de que no se validó eh, muy bien la encuesta o que no se completó correctamente. Entonces, es importante que lo podamos hacer. Si quieres, voy a dar unos momentos para que usted lo pueda realizar sin ningún problema. Y así como hizo Kevin, en el, como lo, lo tiene Kevin, en este caso, pues igual, eh, si Frido también ya lo tiene, muy bien, gracias. Eh, te una consulta. En el nombre del curso es sin coma, sin comía, ¿verdad? Así es. Eh, justo como está en, en... Como se lo enviaron. Pero sí, no, no es necesario. Ok.
Okay, so we also can like start with this um, satisfaction survey. So don't forget to follow the instructions given in the in the well the email that you received, guys. So that's why it's really important to complete all the parts. In that case, it's more recommendable to copy and paste, so you won't have any troubles with the uh, this kind of survey. It's really important that all of you completed, guys, because it's uh, kind of, you know, the evidence of that we have worked in the programs and that we have done a great job in the programs. That's why it's really important. That's why you had to do this survey, uh, carefully checking all the information, um, you know, see the numbers, the names, and all the information given. And don't forget that, you know, the provider in that case is Inglés Corporativo, right? So that's why it's, it's necessary, guys. So, you, you know, take your, your time to do that one because it's very important to work in this. And also don't forget if you have any questions or doubt, I can help you with that, right guys? So you can do it. Okay, I can see that, um, uh, well, more students are, are sharing here the evidence um, of the of this kind of survey. So you have already done it, so that's a great job. So we're waiting the rest of the students who, you know, send that. When all of us, we're here, we're ready, we're going to continue, guys, with the class. Great job in that case. So we have here, let me check. Um, Kevin, uh, Sefrido, Jose Carlos, Ricardo Perez, eh, Juan Carlos, Jusman Atilio, Jorge Antonio, Myrna Elizabeth, Emerson Ulises, Carlos Alberto, and Nelson Alberto. So continue, guys, to, with uh, for those who haven't finished yet. As I told you, take your time uh, to complete this kind of survey, and then after that, we're going to take short, so a short time to Continue with the class.
Okay, students, I'm checking here that we have 16 um, surveys. So, and I can see that we are eight, you are 19 right away. So I need to make sure that all of you have done this survey because we need to complete, continue with the class. And uh, for those who haven't done it, please, I need you to chat. I need to know that you're doing this. And also, if not, if you have difficulties, because we need to make sure that all of you have done it today before we finished the class. So it's really important. So you cannot live without doing this satisfaction hold. And let's see, we have uh, uh, Kevin. We also have Cifrido, Jose Carlos, Juan Carlos, Josman Serrano, Jorge Antonio, Mirna Elizabeth, Emerson Ulises, uh, Carlos Alberto, Nelson Alberto, Carlos Ernesto, Osman Enrique, Rafael Alexander, Jose Salvador, Edwin Antonio, Wendy Maricela, y Jose Bernardo. So let me see. Eighteen. So we are eighteen right now. Let's see. So someone else is missing. Uh, Manuel Antonio. Oh, sorry, teacher. Um, I'm late, and now I, oh. I answer the. The. Oh. oh, you're doing this one this already, right? You're you're doing this. Okay. Okay, much better. Okay. So, okay, don't worry. So at the end, let me know that. You have done it and also and uh, we continue with, with the class so you can also complete it with the information make sure that you check the email with all the information requested and paste it and um, correctly okay okay Okay, students, I think most of you have done it. And thank you so much for the responsibility to complete this uh, satisfaction survey. And that is also uh, necessary. Well, we're gonna continue guys with the class. We were uh, having a conversation and I want you to go straight and also listen the conversation. Okay, so you can also check in the the audio. I will send it back by any chance. So I want you to listen. And then we're going to compare also the answers with the class. Listen carefully, and then you can help me to select the best choice in that case. I'm sending back the audio so you can also share, share with that. Okay, so i give you um, a couple of minutes and then I will ask you if you're ready, if you say yes, we continue with the activity. Let's go.
uh, questions. Are, are you ready or not yet? Um, are you ready with the listening or not yet? No, not yet. Okay. Okay, students, we're going to, well, to share right now the answers. So you can also help me to select the best choice um, according to the topic. First of all, what was the conversation about? Can you tell me a, a, any idea about this conversation? What they were talking about in the conversation? The main, the main, he wants the broke or break up or the relationship with her spouse. Thank you so much. Exactly. So they were talking about the divorce, right? And uh, they were like talking about some kind of protocols and things about what the person has been living um, before this decision. We move on to the first question is like the guy has been married for, for hold on. Yes. Two months, teacher. Exactly, two months, right? So two months, uh, that's the time. And the next one, what is the reason why he wants to break up and divorce, divorce her? Uh, what do you get from this? And what is the reason why he wants to break up with her? Maybe Sharon complains about Phil's bathroom habits. Uh, yeah, that's right. Imagine one of the reasons why the, 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 she wants to break up the relationship. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's okay. You can see one of the situations, imagine. And the next one, one thing uh, that bothers her is that, she, that he, I think there is a picture of his old girlfriend. That is okay. That's correct. Imagine this example. What do you think? Is that bad? <laughs> really bad <laughs> extremely <laughs> extremely bad i could say so extremely that would be crazy. mr x 
<laughs> Imagine to have a picture of your or girlfriend in your wallet, for example. Wallet. That would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. The reason. In the next one, um, it says that the woman, uh, Tonya, uh, feels sister thing that he is really. Mm, I don't know. I think pampered. Thinks that he is really weird. Yes, that's right. Uh, it's a Frido. Like, yeah, it's a little weird. That is the the what the, his sisters think that he's a little weird, right? And imagine that's what um his sister think about him. And the last one. So it says that Tonya suggests that field what happened. What is a recommendation that that she suggests that her sister suggests? Get some marriage concealing. Yes, that's okay. That is the best choice. I mean, first, without, you know, thinking about this kind of divorce, that would be better to go to some specialist and receive a kind of concealment, some advice that can help them to improve or to be better, to understand each other and respect each other. So that is a recommendation given by her. That's okay. And congratulations. That is a good listening. And let's see the next one. Okay, we have another conversation. And also there are some important points to discuss. Emerson, can you help me to read the sentences, uh, the, the questions? Okay, teacher. All sentences? Uh, just the highlighted, all the, the, the main questions. Okay. He needs a roommate to to play for the room because quit quit hit the job go to back to school. He was recently lived oh, only, only only the capital letters only the the one in with the line. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is a row with the carpet in the light? living room uh, what has a day done to fix the refrigerator door which problem is true of but bathroom of the bathroom what does Randall probably do at the end of the conversation okay thanks a lot so we're going to listen to this conversation I will send you the audio and you also have to listen and select the best choice to complete this uh, conversation. Okay, just give me a moment, please. Uh, guys, please do me the favor to check the WhatsApp group. I'm sending you right now the the conversation. Uh, listen carefully and select the best choice. Uh, Emerson, can you see the the conversation in the group? Yes, you should. It's available. 
Okay, yeah, it's visible. That's great. So you can start now, guys. Good luck.
Um, are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Hello, are you ready or not yet? Maybe not, not yet, teacher. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, let's check the answers. And uh, I want to ask you guys, what was the conversation about? Can you tell me what you understood about this conversation? And quit his job to go back to school, deal number one. Okay, we go straight with the first question. Let's see here. So the answer is that he quit. What what you say? Yes, yeah, he needs a roommate to pay for rent because quit his job to go back to school. Mm. Check check. Maybe teacher, he was recently late off from his job. The second one. I'm not sure. Okay, what do you think, class? In that case, the reason uh, why he needs someone else to help him to pay it is because he's working in fewer hours. So that's why he doesn't earn as, mm, as much money as he expected. So that's why it is important for him to, you know, look for someone to help him to pay. It. So it's working fewer hours. Next. What is wrong with the carpet in the living room? Maybe this chair is really worn out. Hmm. Okay, check. And the other guys, I don't see where 20, only one or two answers. What could be the other possible answer, guys? Try. The most important thing is that we can also try it. And then we can also you know, learn by mistakes. But we just just try. It. Let's do it. Don't worry about it. So what's wrong with the carpet? 
I'm not sure it is soil in several places. Exactly. That that is the answer. Because they were like describing the problem that he got some problems with some uh, roommates. Excellent. So it's soiled in several places. The next one is what has they done to fix their refrigerator? I think number two, the speaker pushed push that box against the door to keep keep it shut. Um, you say that he pushed the box against the door, right? Yes. That is correct. He pushed a box against the door to keep it shut. That was the strategy. Look bad, so bad. But anyway, and the next one, which problem is true of the bathroom? So the bathroom is getting some issues. Which is the true problem Problem of this? The towel needs uh, replacing. Replacing. I don't know. The towel needs replacing. Yes, exactly. That, that is the, the, the thing. It needs a replacement. That's why... You know, instead of being checking that one, it needs replacement uh, without hesitation. Okay, let's see. And the next, what does Randall uh, probably do at the end of the conversation? I think the speaker helps they fix up the house. I think that the speaker decided to look for another place. Yes, uh, sure. def definitely that, was, that is the best choice when, you know, the apartment or the place is getting different problems and then you fix one and then the problems again. So the most recommendable is look, look for somewhere else, definitely. Yeah, that's according to the conversation. Great job with that. So were the conversations easy or difficult? How do you feel? Because every conversation has a different level of difficulty. Perhaps some of them could be easy or some of, some of them could be difficult depending on the topic, the vocabulary, and the context. Or the conversations were easy? Um, for me, <laughs> 60. Difficult for is easy. Uh, like more than 50 50. 50 50. Okay. Um, if you try uh, every day with this with listenings, I'm pretty sure that in a couple of days or months, your English will be even better because listening is a very interesting way and also can help you to improve listening and also improve pronunciation too because you're adapted to native speakers. So after, you know, this class, you watch television in English, serious radio, be in contact with native speakers. And as I say, it's very successful and also this way. Well, we continue with the next activity. So I'm going to ask to Carlos Ernesto Hernandez can you help me to read the instructions about this, the next activity. Okay. <clears throat> Group work create a comparative chart of the asset the generation y in the generation x bring to the workplace how do these characteristics example loyalty flexibility the technological skills purpose oriented etc of each generation help boost companies profitability profit Ability. Organize a brief presentation. Okay, help me to read the the information in the chart. Okay, you can you can also check the the chart 
with the different um, points that you had to develop with your partners, set of values. You had to think about the set of values, the life perspective. What are the perspective about life they have? They want to be successful. They want to achieve goals or they want to live the life in the one company. So you can also check about what is the life perspective related to these generations. Perspective about a time also is important. And this is what we call the multi-generational workforce and productive and efficiency. So in that case, I will create the groups because I will be responsible of the breakup rooms. I'm gonna give you a number of four, four or five members for each group. And also we are gonna try to create this comparative chart of the assets and assets of the generation Y and generation X, exactly that what we have been studying during this week. You will separate the comparative of Y and X, okay? You will compare the two generations. And then you will bring the work related to the workplace, of course. What the millennials want, what the generation X want, you will separate each idea. And also it says that he mentioned before it, the how the characteristics, for example, loyalty, flexibility, commitment, the technological skills, the purpose oriented, the responsibility, everything of each generation help boost companies' uh, profitability. So we're talking about what is the benefit of these things for the company? Because the most important is to show what we are capable to do. Organize a brief presentation. For example, what are the set of values of the generation Y and the set of values of generation X? What is the life perspective of a generation Y? And what is the life perspective of generation X? And the perspective about the time for Y and generation for X. And also the productivity and efficiency for both um, generations. You will select the list. If you say, Teacher William, I'm going to be honest, Teacher William, I, I think for me, both for both generations, we can also match uh, these skills or this perspective. It doesn't matter if you consider that there are some life perspectives that both have, no problem, you can add it in the list, right? But the most important is you try to organize these characteristics that both generations have. And then we're going to select one student from each group to present this multi-generational workforce. Before that we start working in teams, I just want to ask you, is that clear for you guys what we had to do in teams? Is that clear what we had to do? It's clear, teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Someone else? Uh, tell me yes or not, because we need to make sure that everything is clear. And we're gonna start working it in the in the breakup rooms with the main points because the, I don't want you to send to the teams if you don't know what to do. So is that clear for you guys? Uh, that means that you don't understand or what? Um, that's my question. Is that clear what we had to do? I'm sorry, do you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's clear. Sorry. Okay. I thought I was like mute because somebody said anything. All right. Thanks a lot. We're going to start working right now in the teams. And also, I want the, everybody's participation. We're going to work in the teams. Let me see.
Okay, let me check. One, two. Okay, we're gonna work four teams. We're gonna create four teams and I'm sending you right now to the groups. So please look at your screen and I will send you right now to the breakout rooms. And you can also socialize this information and select one student that will represent us in the main sessions. And you will talk about the life perspective, the productivity and efficiency, the perspective about a time of the generation X and Y. Let's start, good luck. If you have any questions or doubt, don't hesitate to ask and I will be more than glad to help you guys. Let's go. Okay, if someone um, has a difficulty to be in the groups, to join the groups, please let me know. And uh, because I can see three, four, five, six, seven, eight students are still here in the main room, in the main session. So I need to make sure that all of you go to the groups and also socialize the activity. If someone has a difficulty, let me know, please. Example, let me see the values for for each generation. Um,
I share the screen. Yeah. Uh, That, uh, generation X, generation Y. Yes. Um, generation Y, is, uh, they are millennials. Okay. Techno technologically savvy. Ah, impatience, impatience, impacientes, mm -hmm. casual, less outcome. We think una captura de pantalla tal vez puede servir. Sí, ¿no? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. I prefer <laughs> work from home. Uh -huh. work from home. It's more easy. Flexible time. <laughs> Flexibility. Flexi flexible. Flexible. Flexible time. Yes. Uh -huh. And <laughs> work less hour <laughs> per week. No. <laughs> A generation generation X yeah gener gen X and gen but we are talking about now the gen Y that is the millennial okay. is the same mm -hmm. uh, for me uh, generation X are college digital migrant science uh, they are the ones uh Will move the world at the labor level. But the perspective about time, we are in the second, in the second, the perspective, the perspective, yes, perspective. about time. Yes. Yeah. You understand what I mean, the perspective about time? Mm -hmm. Because the generation or why the millennium they prefer work from home, they prefer flexibility time and work less hour per week. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the generation X the generation X they they prefer it doesn't marry the time yeah. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter the time. Yeah. <laughs> the career progression. They want to develop a career in the in the same company. Yeah, yeah. They want or or they they do, yeah, or they did they, that. Yeah, they they do the the career the long career, yeah. The long yes. how do you say it? the long Continue. time in the in the same company, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. Maybe 
It's okay or not? I believe it's okay. Huh? Okay, and the generation X, they doesn't matter the time, they do the long time in the same company. They prefer multimodal networks and social. Sorry? They prefer a job variety where develop the creativity. They prefer to develop creativity. Uh -huh. Okay. Tawin. The company <laughs> intends to develop uh, creativity, maybe. But this is the perfect about time or the life perspective? Sorry, Emerson. Yes, I, I believe it's a uh, perspective about time. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. And the life perspective? Um, oh they want to be a, a leadership in their company. Uh, the generation Y. Of, <laughs> the generation Y, yes. They, they want to. <laughs> yeah. They want to be a leader, position leaders. In the interview. <laughs> the interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. God. They want to be a position leader. Soy... In a few time, yeah? Or in a short time. Short time. Short time. What else? <laughs> um, they believe a boss, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the productivity and generation X, I think that they they want to be escalate or or progress in their in different position uh, mm -hmm. when they get uh, experience, maybe. Yes. Yes. They are people who were, who were in the world for made labor relation and develop professional in company. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Investigation. According, according, according. O sea, podemos ponerle, eh, por ejemplo, X, dos puntos. Uh Uh, uh, that that idea uh, I told you uh, uh, the, the generation before the generation uh, they are uh, there are, there are less divorces Masria again Generation K. Y. X, Y, uh huh, Y. No, X. In. Uy. Uy. Yeah. 
Can you repeat? Uh, for example, uh, Generation Y, uh, currently uh, there are more divorce. Oh, currently. But can you spell it? Spell it currently. Uh, more mm -hmm. There are more divorce. Uh, generation Same. X is lo contrario, otherwise. Sí. Uh, uh, generation one. Yeah. Can uh, what, can you repeat, please? Generation X. Generation X. Uh, in X. Mm -hmm. uh, there was. Uh, there was less divorce. There was? There was less divorce in decades. <laughs> uh, menos divorcio before. And divorcio. What what else? What else, please? Uh, all values. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, pasemos la otra mientras me ocurre otra cosa. <laughs> In the perspective about time, uh, generation generation Y is more fast. Yes, it's, it's more. Yes, they they are more. Uh, they are they are faster. They are faster in practice. In practice. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, uh they 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 understand uh, faster uh, te technology okay generation X, uh, the true, we are more, we are, we are slow, slowly, <laughs> with the, we're slowly with the, no, uh, yes, it's lower, it is lower, they uh, are, I, I, slower. I sort of, yeah, the generation Y, it is faster, I, imagine, uh, when, when I, when I practice with my song, my song is 30, uh, 12, 30, 30 years old. 13, 13, 30. 13. 13, 13 years old. But the cell phone, the video game in the cell phone, very fast. Uh, a, a video game, very difficult to me. I remember yeah. when I, when I, when I uh, play a video game, only the only airplane. Solo de avioncitos que disparaban. <laughs> very easy, very easy. But the, the video game now is, is very difficult. But in this case, uh, uh, is generation Y. Um, yes. Generation uh, X. Uh, they, are, X we, uh, they, are, they are slower and so, the, uh, oh, use, they use the this positive well what do you think if, if i if we write uh typing the generation x uh, x uh how 
difficult to manage uh, technology very well. Yeah. What do you think? It's not. Mm. We we are not productive. We are Respect. not. We are not productivity. Productivity. We are not efficient. Manage manage mm. the maybe. Uh, maybe mm. generation X, I think, uh, is they are faster in the world. Development in your develop, development, desarrollo, development, desarrollo y crecimiento, o digamos development o, o aspirar a otros cargos. Promoting. Promoting, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. Development and development and promote. Promote, okay. And millennials. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Innovation, for example. Innovation, yes. Yes. Innovators. <laughs> okay. I got it. <laughs> I got I it. lost it. Yeah, I lost it. Ah, yeah, you lost it. Okay. Okay. Opposite. Opposite. Okay. And share the presentation. Share the screen. Okay. Yes. I think that this is how to the characteristic, loyalty, flexibility, technological skill, purpose oriented. Yeah, I think that this is the organizer. Yeah. Mirna. Hello. I know up to, up to this, this day that they are this I knew to me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Wendy. Um, o sea, puse eh, que todo eso es nuevo para mí. Oh, it's new for you. Wow. Why? Yes. <laughs> wow, o sea, Why? me he quedado así como admiradísima. Admiration. Why? Yes. But we... What do you think? Maybe. Teacher, I have a question. I need your opinion. Yes, tell me. For example, uh, can, can you see my, 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 my screen? No. Um, yes, I no. can see it. OK. For example, in, in this part, uh, life perspective, uh, uh, Carlos and I, uh, Carlos and I was uh, we were uh, discussed. The mean is, uh, for example, uh, Generation X. A perspective mind is uh, to be a, a house, to be a family, to have uh, to be a stability economic economic stability. Uh, to have know, a house, a house, uh, a family. For me, it's a perspective. It's exactly. Correct. Yes. What goals they would like to have? They would like to have a family, a house, a, a stable job, a job that yes, stable job. a stable job too. So maybe they are. For example, for example, uh, we think a uh, generation Y a uh, perspective can be enjoy the enjoy uh, the work, uh, travel around the world. I don't know. Okay, this is one of the points. Yes. Okay. 
Carlos, we, we can write that. Yes, more, more or less, I agree. <laughs> okay. Uh, will be write, write down uh, Generation X, why? Uh, they use the trample in the war, I don't know. Trample. Uh, ocupan los trabajos de trampolín. Pivot. I don't know, we can use the pivot, the word pivot. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. They use, they use. They, the, the perspective about the generation X, uh, X what? Uh, uh, they, they want, uh, they want, uh, es, ¿cómo es? Estabilidad laboral, ¿cómo se dice? Stability. Eh, stability. Work stability. Work stability. Yes. Work stability. Uh -huh. Work separate. Stability. Separate. Yes. Okay. Work stability. Okay. It's correct to, to write as stability, 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 stability. Yes, yes, it's correct. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. uh, uh, get, get a family. Uh, what do you think? Family, yes. Get a family. Uh, family uh, get get a to house. Have a, to have a house. Have a great job. Okay. Great. Uh, how do you write great? Yeah, great. Great. Is correct, Edwin? Yes. Yes. Ah, great. no. Great. Uh, without E. Great. Great. Yeah. Is uh, correct. Great. No. No. Erase why? Erase, erase why? Right? Mm. G R E uh -huh. right. R E E A T. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they want to work stability, get family. Uh, in the uh, the generation Y, uh, they, Okay, students, we're going to check the attendance list. Um, just uh, listen your name when you say present, please. We're going to check. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. 
Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Thanks. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Uh, Joshman Atilio Serrano. Thanks. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thanks. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thanks, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Sefrido Ernesto Gómez. Present. Thanks, uh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Thanks, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Eh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you. By any chance, if someone hasn't done the encuesta de satisfacción, please let me know. Well, so we're going to um, conclude this part uh, with the participation of some students who have shared some ideas. The most important about this exercise is that we can also, with our experience, we can analyze uh, according to the generation X and Y, what values, perspective of life, perspective about the time, and productivity and efficiency do you consider match these points for these generations in this multi-generational workforce chart? So for this, I'm going to check the breakup rooms and we're going to select one or depending on the members. And let me see. Let me see. Okay, we need to check the the Emerson's group. Uh, I don't know uh, who's going to talk in the group. Emerson, uh, you can also share what you discussed with your partners. I don't know who of, um, who's going to. Wendy and, and Mirna, right? Wendy and Mirna. Yes. Okay. Okay, who's going to present the, the group? Wendy T-shirt. Wendy, Wendy is the person that doing the presentation, but I'm going to share the the PPT. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Wendy. <laughs> okay. Um uh, said about of values. Number one, awareness every every woman uh, Generation J, uh, communicate their ideas easily. Generation Generation X, um, perspective about time. Uh, they prefer work home, flexible time, and uh, work less harper with Generation J. G, uh, they doesn't. Thank you. They don't. They doesn't matter the time. They don't. They don't. Uh, comma, they to the long time in the same company. Comma, they prefer development crea creativity. Uh, generation X. Life perspective. Uh, they want to be a position leader in short uh, time. Generation G. If they want to pro to be progress step by by step according experience in the day are people who work in the promote labor relationship a developed profession in the company generation X productivity and efficiency uh, they are a most efficient 
because they I can use technology even though they are not productive. Productive because they doesn't acknowledge or experience they don't. in the they don't in in the spirit in the position generation G or positive a uh, generation X. Finish teacher. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There was a very clear, you know, ideas of this chart respecting the both generations and focusing about the most important values, life perspectives about a time and productivity. Thank you so much for the group for this activity. And uh, we have learned about this. We're going to continue with the next group. Okay, we're going to um, check the, maybe the group of uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Um, I don't know who's, well, also we have uh, Osman, if I'm wrong. Jose Bernardo, who's going to present in this group? Yes, is is um the Jose Bernardo uh, Josman Manuel? I don't know who's going to uh, present the the summary of the group. Uh, are you ready or? or uh, you you are not. Okay, let's see the uh Cifrido. Cifrido. I don't know who are in your group. Was Rafael with you? Jose? No, it was Jose and Josman. Okay, perfect. So who's going to present? Everyone, I think. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, we was discussing the generations between millennials and generation X at work. And for example, for values, okay. we defined that there is different values, but basically. One the most important but okay but for example um the commitment between two generations could be different for example millennials not in all cases are the same commitment for war that has one of generation x um but example regarding the other policy perspective about some time is pretty similar. Um, Generation X has commitment um believe in the process. Um, this may take some time, but millennials want the things in a quick way and they want it for now. I mean immediately. Okay, thank you, Sifredo. I don't know if someone else is going to support in the group or only you. Only Hello? Yeah, only. Yes. <laughs> only <Stop>. me. <laughs> Okay, well, so I was actually um, listening to uh, most of you guys in the groups uh, discussing about the the advantages. There are some valuable details respecting each generation and also some points or perspectives of life can be very similar looking for stability. 
And uh, we know that it's very clear in the process. But as experts, because we have become experts in, in this topic about generations, we know that the most important is that we can also focus on uh, the people's skills and uh, use these skills in a job, in a company, for getting better results uh, or being very successful in the goals that they would like to achieve in the process. Okay, guys, we're about to finish. Uh, I really appreciated the time, the experience that we have had here in this level. Your English level has been very impressive, and I'm pretty sure that you will continue working a lot and learning a lot. So I hope to see you in a, in a, the, the top levels because that is the goal. You're very close with that. Don't stop practicing. Keep it out trying your best because that's very valuable. You got a great um, perspective for learning and that's what it matters, right? So don't stop. English is for having fun, for learning, and you will have everything you need to, to achieve this goal. Just to practice and then you will be at the top, right? So keep it up trying. And also, it has been a great pleasure for me, guys. And also because we have learned a lot. And I have learned a lot, too, because when we have a class, not just you learned, I also learned, too. And also, we just learn and get more experience about the process, guys. So thank you so much. And uh, I hope to see you further. Yeah, when you go to the, uh, the top levels, this is the best one. And you keep it up trying the best in the other levels. Thank you so much. And it's been a real pleasure for being here with all of you, all nice, during these um, 25 classes we have had. And uh, we learned a lot, okay? Don't stop, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thanks for Thank all, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Good night to everyone. A pleasure, too. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Merry Christmas and happy New Year. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ay, no me puedo salir. No me puedo salir.